We do another crummy talk show tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. This is the first of the... Actually, I did three crummy talk shows this weekend. But uh, we, I'll be with you till 10 o'clock this evening. Honestly, more entertainment than you have a right to expect from a weekend radio show. Let's just get it out of... Let's just deal with it, all right? This hour, though, we explore the death styles of the rich and famous, dear friends. My guest is Matthew Anderson. He is a director of Undertaking for the Hollywood-based uh, Graveline Tours. You've probably heard about these guys. It's a jaundiced-eyed view of Hollywood life in the past lane. I'm reading their stuff here. Winding your way through the uh, seamier sights in the city of sins. That's, uh, that's us. Uh, here's a quote. I loved it, said a Hollywood Boulevard psychopath. Uh, Matthew, what I want to know is which Hollywood uh, Boulevard psychopath is that? It was one I saw at the end of the street a couple of days ago. <laughs> the one yeah. right outside of KFI. Exactly, here. yeah. Hey, welcome to KFI, thank by you. the way, Matthew. Nice to be here, thank you. Good to see you. All right, uh, I, I, let's get the, uh, some of the normal questions out of the way first, yep. and, and then we can get into the... I want, I want stories from you, Good. and of course, uh, you can call us tonight if there's anything you want to know about some star that died a very strange death in Hollywood, please uh, give us a call tonight because that's what we're talking about. And if you want to kill me as well. Yeah. Well, do people hate you? Do they, uh, yeah, are they angry at you? Do they think yeah. you're a weirdo? Yeah, they did, especially in the early days. And not just me. Uh, uh, I, I should give um, the credit to a, a far more interesting man than myself, a man called Greg Smith, who is a former embalmer, a former undertaker. He was a paramedic as well. Yeah. And he liked mainly the fact that these people had died. I like the people. He liked the fact that they died. He came up with the idea of the hearse and things like that. And he really is the founder of Graveline Tours. Right. But he's working up to dig up some more stuff in Kansas. God knows what he's digging up out what there. What the hell in Kansas? I don't get it. What is he well, that's what I'm asking. But we keep sending him money for the past year. And he keeps telling me he's doing some work. But I can't quite work that out. But anyway, oh, he's doing really? something there. Yeah. Oh, that's kooky, though. I like it, though. He's yeah. been, listen to this. Here's a guy. How long have you been in this country, by the way? Uh, on and off, five years. Five years. Now, check this out. All you Clinton people out there, here's a guy who just got to this country five years ago. And he's got a great business going here in Hollywood. I just want to salute you, Matthew. I think. appreciate that. Yeah. And you're not on welfare or anything like that uh not officially no. okay not officially food no. stamps or anything that's just Absolutely. wonderful to hear that's a political kind of radio station Absolutely. i don't know if you got in the middle of all this okay how do you do your research i mean when i drive through hollywood Badly. i well okay that's funny but i mean when i drive through hollywood i just i don't i don't see anything but a bunch of buildings and how do i know where all the bodies are buried so to speak you do your research um in a hard way you 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 spend hours in libraries and, and places like that digging up death certificates and, and finding people who knew people and things like that and you whittle it down to in the end what you get is the truth. I'm very, very, very particular that, w that what we tell is truth. I don't want to lie to anybody. Quite seriously, I don't want to at all. And I know other people do lie and it annoys me when people have paid good money and they're lied to and I'm not into that at all. So you're into the facts. Pull that, Absolutely. Microphone. Pull that microphone close to you. I want you to, I want you to make love to that microphone. It scares me a bit. It's, yeah. It does. Oh, forget about that, oh. big, that big thing in your face. Don't it's worry. Tough, isn't it? It. Yes, it is. Um, all right, uh, let's talk. Is it true? Let me just start asking you some questions. Yes, sir. Is it true that Mama Cass uh, from... You know, did everybody ask you this. Did she die by choking on a ham sandwich? Yes, absolutely true. Is it true? Uh, where did it happen? Because I know it's on your tour, is it yeah. not? No, it's not on our tour it's at all. I've got no idea where it happened if you want the truth. Okay, no, I do want the truth, and I don't care. All right, so this is great. Though. So she did die uh, uh, yes, by eating on a ham sandwich. sandwich. How do you know that? Oh, because I, I think we had somebody who was there at the time who saw it happen. Oh, okay, so yeah. Mama Cass did die... Yeah, uh, choking on a ham sandwich. Choking on a ham sandwich. Gee, that that's really bad. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, the, curious about the word undertaker, by the way. Yes. Had you ever thought of what the derivation of that word is? I don't even know what the derivation means. Yeah, really. Okay, yeah. where did it come from? No, never at all. Okay, totally cool. Let's keep working here. Let's yeah. see now. Are you, have you turned into sort of a death freak, by the way? No, I've turned, I've turned into a, a live freak. I like, really? I like the fact, really, that these people lived more than they died. Yeah. Whereas Greg likes the fact that they died more than they lived. But didn't they die the way they lived? <laughs> Some did, yes. That's actually a quite good question. They yeah, did, that's actually. what I, I mean. Isn't that yes. true? Yeah, they did. I, I like the people like the Bogarts, the Coopers, the, yes. your regular heroes. And I want to talk about You're all about American those. heroes. Yes, sir. And yes. I want to talk about all right. them. Yeah. Your Mama Cassies and your Three Stooges, they're the gr Greg loves them. He, he's out in Kansas talking about them to some sort of... Are all the Three uh, Stooges dead now? I think we've got... I had a conversation with somebody on the tour today, and I think we decided they were. They're yeah. all gone. Now. Yes. That's too bad. Um, okay, fine. But yeah. you're into the Bogarts, and I want to talk about yes. that. Montgomery Cliff, they're my great heroes, the real movie stars. How about this? You just said something interesting and kind of profound and i like that though you know you're into how they lived and i said something uh, terribly interesting that uh, sometimes they die the way yes. they live um let's take some guy like fred astaire he's on your list right no 
not at all. Bulls. You've done this to her before, haven't you? You've been no. on it. <laughs> no, I mean, he's on your, isn't he on your list? No, he's not. Well, let me, do you know it? Look, here's the thing. Are you sure? Come on, you're pulling on my... <laughs> I swear to God, I'm not, no, he's not on the tour. Are you sure? No, he's not. He danced away. He wouldn't go he anywhere near it. Well, see, the thing, I was, you know, do, you, do you know how he died? Uh, Freddie still haven't got much idea about him at all, no. Oh, okay, because, damn you, because I thought it was on you. <laughs> Come on, it's not on your list. Because I was going to ask you, he probably died a really boring <laughs> way because he was such a boring, I mean, he was, such, sure a nice, he he was such a gentleman. Yeah, I know, and he looked pretty boring, and I don't mean that rudely against him, didn't he? Well, yeah, he was a lot like my dad, a gentleman, but yeah. not a major raging stud. Bing Crosby, he died on a golf course out in Spain, didn't he, somewhere? Now, see, let's, all right. Now, we, I'm, never got, we never got the hearse to Spain somewhere, but I'm sure it was on a golf course. Okay, is that, no, seriously, is that where he died? Yeah, I think so, yeah. The Bingster? Yes. What is, uh, let's talk about, uh, What about Superman, George Reeves? Now, that's a good I one. I thought you'd like it. All right, let's talk about George Reeves. Apparently, he allegedly, and you put allegedly in your brochure. Absolutely. He shot himself. With a speeding bullet, apparently. What, what's yeah. the deal? Did he or did he not? No, I don't think he did at all, no. It's a very long-winded story, and he'd have to well, come on the tour to hear it, but well, uh, he was mixed up with certain people. He, he's having an affair with a lady. He was living with his fiancée, Lenora Lemon, believe it or not. And okay. Probably why he shot himself, I imagine, but Lenora Lemon was her name. Okay. Um, and he got up mixed up with other people, and I think people were out to get George Reese. He was getting death threats before he died. So Superman thought he was like super stunned. Absolutely, exactly right. And somebody shot him, That's but right. officially, though, he supposedly shot, shot himself. himself. Yeah, I've heard, and this is quite serious, they are reopening the investigation to this. I've heard from two different lawyers that this is happening, and I think it is going to happen. It was uh, 15th of June, well, it's actually the morning of 16th of June, 1959. He was 45. Happened on Benedict Canyon, I won't give the address. Right. The man who owns the house doesn't like me particularly much. I hope he's listening to this, but he doesn't like me at all. Put your headphones on. I'm hearing, I, I just want you to enjoy the audio experience here. If you got the phone, we're listening to Superman music here. That, and I want you to know that guy in the other studio gets paid for, like, doing this yeah. stuff. Yeah. He looks a bit like Superman, doesn't he, actually? Yes, I know. He's overpaid. Yeah. Thanks a lot, yeah. Scott. We appreciate playing that yeah. Superman music. So, he was shot in 59. Now, was yeah. the Superman series over by then? Uh, he'd, he'd, uh, he was signed up for another dozen episodes just before he died, actually. Oh, really? And officially, in Hollywood, Babylon and other books, they claim that the reason, two reasons he killed himself... One, because he was upset at being typecast as Superman. Yeah, I'd heard that. Yeah, that's right. That's what I've heard. And he couldn't get any other work. I don't really believe that, but that's one of the reasons. And the second reason is because apparently he had no money at the time of his death. I don't agree with that either. Did he make... Do you know what kind of bread he made as Superman? Quite a bit of money. Yeah, back in the late 50s, he had a couple of hundred thousand knocking around, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, with a very super, super salary. Exactly, guy. super salary, yeah. Now, did you know, and I bet you do know this, that uh, George Reeves' Superman was in Gone with the Wind? He won the Tarleton Twins. Very good, isn't it? He was also in the Monty Cliff film, Here to Eternity. He had is a full he? part in that, yeah. Oh, see, I don't know that, but I remember yeah. watching Gone with the wind once and That's it's right. like hey superman in this movie exactly, like, yeah. that was weird and That's it was right. like a small part and he played kind of he was kissing up on uh, what's her face uh, um a bit scarlet, scarlet. Oh, scarlet. Vivian lee yeah vivian lee That's right. she died right. in london all right well let's talk now oh here's another thing do you specialize in not all the stars die in hollywood yes so i mean do you talk about stars maybe how about like let me ask you about bob crane Right, I don't talk much about him, no. He's, he's become quite fashionable at the moment, Bob Crane. Yes, it's very hip because um, the video tape. Yeah, absolutely. Was, yeah. I, 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 sometimes people ask me about him and I, t I say what I know about him, but I, I really don't know much about him at all. But well, that question, I do talk about other things that just aren't happening in Hollywood, but things I want to talk about. That's right. why I do the tour, because it's what interests me. Like what? If people want to pay $30 and come on, and come on here, what interests me, that's fine. And Montgomery that's, Cliff, I love talking about Montgomery Cliff. I oh. talked to him about, for him for hours. Real? Um... What about him? How did he die? Uh, he died. He died as sort of a heart attack, July 23rd, 66, in New York. He was, uh, died in New York. So did Bette Davis, so did Joan Crawford. So the big names died alcohol? out there. Yeah, they, Absolutely. They had every problem going. Alcohol, pills, the whole lot. He could name every pill in the world. I mean, he had boxes of them around his cabinet, everything. Wow. Right. Uh, he, he had the car crash here in, 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 um, in Beverly Hills about 10 years beforehand, May 12th, 56. Right. He was making the film Rain Tree County with Elizabeth Taylor at the time. Was he a head case, uh, though, without the drugs and everything? Was he a little weird? I remember to start with, I don't think he was at all. I think he was one of the most sensible, fun-loving men ever, from my, from my uh, research. Okay. But he be, did become a head case, absolutely, yeah. Okay. But he's and a great it, hero, man. And the booze and the pills and that did him in. Marilyn Monroe said he's the only person I know is in worse shape than I am. I think it's probably true. And that says something. When absolutely. Marilyn Monroe basically says, you're a head case, you've yes. got problems. You're absolutely right. All right. Well, you did it. You brought up Marilyn. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I did. Well, all right, let's talk She's about actually, it. I should say something else. She's not on the tour, believe it or not. Where she died is not on the tour, and it's a, it's a, it's a glaring omission, and I fully appreciate that. I get a lot of phone calls every day saying, do we go to where Monroe died? I have to say no, and they put the phone down. No, why not? She died out at Brentwood. My tour is quite concentrated, Beverly Hills, Bel Air. To get out there would take another 15 or 20 minutes, which doesn't sound much, but to get out there and come back, it's 40 yeah, minutes. 40 I just minutes. can't justify that time for one house, however famous she is. Okay. It's also quite difficult to see. I couldn't get the hearse down the alleyway she died. I think I'd have to be 
have people putting sledgehammers through the windows and things. It would be absolute chaos. I'd have to drive there, get the people out of the hearse, walk down there. Then you'd have to climb on a bin to overlook the gate anyway. Mm -hmm. If you go there at night, they've got these heat sensor lights that come on. It'll go near, 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 near. So immediately you run off. You think, oh my God, you're doing something wrong. The police are after you. It, yeah. You could actually stand there all night, I think, if you wanted to. You're not really trespassing as long as you're not on their gate or something. It's but too bad they didn't have those heat sensitive lights back in 1960. <laughs> she might still be around. You know? <laughs> Seriously, folks. Yeah. But honestly, that's yeah, absolutely. Oh, oh, yeah, exactly right. Yeah. All right, uh, so Marilyn is not on your situation, but you do show. She lived all around Hollywood. Yeah, we've got a few houses where she lived, and uh, her and Joe DiMaggio's honeymoon home and other homes where she could up to now, things. Now, do the people that live in those places now know yeah, they live most where Marilyn Most of them do, lives? yeah. One is of them particularly right? is owned by, uh, well, not owned, leased by three Marilyn Monroe lookalikes. Oh, oh really? Yeah. That, does it improve your sex life, uh, say, if you, like, live where Marilyn used to live? Uh, I don't think it does, actually. I would no. ask those people, by the way. I have asked them, yes, and... Um, and they say no. More emphatically than that. Well, really? Yeah. All right. Uh, the ghost of Marilyn is bad for sex or something. I don't know. Yes. All right. Your calls as we talk about the death styles of the rich and famous. My guest is Matthew Anderson. He is director of undertaking for uh, Graveline Tours right here in Hollywood. Let me give you the numbers. If you want to know about any of the stars, how they died, and uh, any... You just are a font of information about, like, these people, right? Well, most of them I haven't known so far. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, well, 1-800-767-4KFI. That's a toll-free call from any place in Southern California. 1-800-767-4KFI. Locally, from Los Angeles, from Hollywood, and uh, Santa Monica, Santa uh, Huchimawatsit Valley, call us at 520 520- one KFI. 18 minutes after nine, we'll come right back. Joe Crummy, KFI, AM 640, more stimulating talk radio.